Hey everybody, Richie Yip here of In Fighting Training Centers. Uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to talk about highly effective guard pass. It's one of those really slow, really incremental passes. Uh, it's not a very fast, very athletic pass, but basically it's a pass that will work for you if your game is just conservative and if you don't make a lot of mistakes. So Stefan's going to help me here and let's, let's just say that uh, I'm in Stefan's uh, closed guard. Can we just start in the closed guard, Stefan? Thank you so much. And I'm, I'm just going to go and I'm going to open up the guard. So how you try and do that, it's irrelevant uh, for the sake of this lesson. Maybe I'll post up and I'm lucky enough to be able to get a knee right in his tailbone and the guard's open. At this particular stage, I want to keep my elbows in as tight as possible. I don't want my arms out because now he can control my arms, control my hands, and possibly I hit up a submission or a sweep. So right away, I want to turn myself into a little alligator. I bring my elbows all the way in. I see that his knee is relatively high, so I'm lucky enough to go and get this elbow underneath. Note how my shoulder is in his knee. At this particular stage, I'm going to go, I'm going to go, I'm going to bring his knee to his nose. A lot of people try to hit this pass by extending and reaching. Unfortunately, this may work, but once your training partners and your opponents just get better, if you reach and extend, step in and just peel that arm right off with an elbow push. So what I need to do is I use my legs, note how the knee that's up goes down, the knee that's down comes up, and I'm using my weight to bring his knee up to his nose and I support Stefan with my trailing leg. Now that I have his collar, I'm just gonna go and open up my head and then pass. Note how this arm here does nothing, all right? Some people say that as you do this pass, this hand here can check on the inside. It can grab the skirt or grab the belt. I find that as people try to do stuff like that, this arm stays available for Stefan to maybe grab, reach, and then suddenly, you'll find yourself in a triangle. So what is the best option from here is to largely just hide this hand and use your neck, use your torso, use your structure in order to stack your training partner. Now, this is a great pass, but unfortunately, Stefan still has hands, right? So he's probably going to push, he's probably gonna go and create space. When that happens, I'm gonna transition into an over-under style of pass, meaning that we're here, everything's looking pretty good. I'm starting to bring his knee to his nose and Stefan's maybe really strong, he's pushing, he's creating space between his nose and his knee, that's totally okay. Now I'm gonna go on the inside. The key thing is, is that I'm gonna lead with my head as I do this. I lead with my head and I follow through with my knee. A common mistake is to lead with the hand as I'm coming through the inside, but unfortunately, you'll fall into a triangle. If you do this pass, you will probably get triangled a whole bunch of times first. That's okay. It's, it's the process of learning jujitsu. Stephanie, can we just shuffle back a little bit first? So thank you so much. Now, once again, I'm trying to hit the stack pass. Man, it doesn't work. Stephanie's way too strong. So note how I'm leading with my knee. Now, once I'm here, the ideal Situation is for me to go and get Stefan's head. I'm just putting my hand on the floor just so that way I can talk casually. I certainly don't want my hand on the floor. What I would much rather prefer is to take his head. I want to take his head. If Stefan suddenly forgets that he has hands and I can easily and immediately take his neck, then that's fantastic. But unfortunately, thank you, Stefan. Once I'm here, I'm trying to transition. He has hands. He'll push on my knee, he'll push on my shoulder, he'll push on my head. He won't let me hit this pass. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna take my hand here, I can't reach, I certainly don't wanna be extending my arms from here. Instead, I'm gonna go through this space and I'm gonna control his leg, I'm gonna turn, and I'm gonna dive. Now, from here, note how, thank you, Stephen, I'm gonna turn a little bit. Note how at this particular stage, I wanna go and take my leg and I wanna stretch out his hamstring. Why do I want to do that? It's because, can you cross your ankles please? Oh, suddenly I'm tied up in his half guard. I want to go and separate his legs so that there is no half guard. Stefan, do you feel that strain on your knee? It's almost like a knee bar. Absolutely. So, do I, do, am I trying to go for a knee bar? No. I'm not trying to go for a knee bar, but he should feel threatened by it. That's the first thing. The second thing is, is that it'll stop him from hitting. It'll stop him from hitting the half guard, so I want to create extension. Also from here, note how I'm grinding in with my shoulder. Can we just turn a little bit? 
please step in so that your head is closer to the camera. Thank you so much. So once I'm here, my shoulder leads. I can't quite get the neck yet. A common mistake is to start reaching for the neck. Stephanie, he's got hands. He's going to grab my head. He's going to peel me right off. So I certainly don't want to do that. I keep tight. And also, it's a minor profile where my shoulder's leading, but I don't want to turn. If he's got my elbow, he's going to go and somersault over me. He's so much bigger than me, right? That's a common, common mistake for me to turn excessively, right? I don't want my shoulders to be vertical on this. They're on a slight diagonal. From here, I'm controlling, I'm walking, I'm walking up until my shoulder is to his neck, and then gradually control, and then I just my leg. And now I'm gonna cross side. We'll just do this one more time really fast, please, Stefan. So somehow I have his guard open, reaching, keeping his arm tight, using my arm, using my shoulders. Can't do it. Right? He's, he's trapping, uh, he's, he's creating space, so that's fine. I'm gonna to transition to the inside, you know how I'm leading with my head and with my knee. He's probably gonna push, that's okay. Drive in. Know how my shoulder leads. I'm gonna stretch out his leg, I carve my shoulder in, I carve my shoulder in, I carve my shoulder in, up until my shoulder is close to his neck, then I circle, and then I let go of his half guard. And now I'm in cross side. So it's called an over under pass, but note how, but note how it's a slow conservative pass. Done this way, you will pass uh, uh, guards that are really dynamic and very flexible. Give it a try. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you.